Good morning, saints of God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is October the 13th, 2020. The first day of early voting here in Bear County. Um, I've cast my ballot already, mailed in my ballot, uh, but I know how important it is for us to vote. So please uh, exercise your right to vote, whatever political party you are aligned with, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, uh, make sure that you uh, exercise your right to vote because people fought for our rights to vote. So let's make sure that we get out and that we vote uh, during this time of, of early voting, uh, especially uh, not wait till the last minute. <clears throat> but I thank God today for for this opportunity to come before you. Uh, thank God for this time that we've uh, spent even on today uh, in fasting uh, and, and prayer. Thank God for uh, just really the mind that we have to to come to him and to spend time with him. I want to read a couple of scriptures from 1 Corinthians, uh, the 15th chapter, verses 57 and 58. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God that gives us the victory. We know that God is the one that uh, gives us the strength to do what we do. Uh, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. It's Christ that strengthens us. So we're not operating in our own strength. We're not just doing what we do uh, of ourselves. Uh, once we become children of God, then we're no longer uh, our own. We belong to God. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. So I thank God for the newness of life and I thank God for the new mindset uh, that we have, that we don't have to, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to do the things that we used to do uh, to manipulate circumstances and situations like we used to to get what we want. You know, our results now are based on our integrity, based on our honesty and based on our servitude to God. So thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain. And I know sometimes the enemy will come and speak to you, try to discourage you that what you're doing is not uh, is, is not effective. What you're doing is not important. What you're doing is not being recognized by other people. But I tell you what, we can have that spirit. We can have that mindset of David when David was just a young shepherd boy on the backside of the mountain. Uh, David was just taking care of the sheep of his father, Jesse. But I tell you, one day changed his life. And I believe that God can change our life in an instant. When the time is right, you know, we don't have to pursue, we don't have to pressure, and we don't have to try to pull down others so that we can, that we can go up higher. So what, uh, what David did on the backside of the mountain would just be obedient to what he was commanded to do. He obeyed the first command that he was given, not asking for another word, not asking for, uh, a, a, another position. But when Samuel came to Jesse's house and Jesse uh, brought his sons before uh, before Samuel and he was going to anoint a king. And there were some that looked like they fit the part. They looked kingly. But the oil did not flow on any of them. And then Samuel asked Jesse, do you have another son? And Jesse said, yes, I do. And he had someone to go and get uh, David and brought him in. And when he anointed him with the oil, the oil rested on him and he was anointed. He was anointed to be the king, but it wasn't time yet for him to be the king. So what he did, he got anointed and he went back out to the field, back to those sheep. God knows when your time is going to come. He knows when your purpose uh, is going to be revealed to the world. But I want you to know today to be steadfast, be unmovable, 
Don't allow circumstances, don't allow situations, don't allow the chaos and the confusion uh, to move you from your mark in Christ. You've come too far. You've served too long. You've been too faithful. Don't allow the enemy to move you from the mark that you are on, that you've been on all this time. Be steadfast. Plant your feet firmly in the ground and stay there. Don't allow yourself to be moved from your position. Stay faithful. Stay committed. Stay in the word. And I believe that God is going to turn some things in your favor. God is going to bring you out. God is going to show you to the world. God is going to make your name known. We don't have to try to make our names great ourselves. God is going to make your name great. God is going to let people uh, see who you are. That's not what we're striving for. When Jesus came to this earth, he came as a humble servant. And that's what we're called to be, humble servants. So we just serve. And in due time, in due time, God will elevate us. Let's stay faithful to the things of God. Let's stay committed to the work of God. I want you to be encouraged today. Lift up your head and look unto God. Don't allow yourself to be moved from your mark based on circumstances, based on chaos, based on confusion. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God bless you all. Love you all. And there's nothing you can do about it.